Hello everyone, this is Anson from AnsonAlex.com and in this video I'm going to show you everything you need to know to start using Twitter effectively. So to get started we need to go to Twitter.com and if you don't already have an account you can click on the sign up button at the top right and if you already have an account and you're not yet logged in you can click on log in to log into your account. So I'm going to log into my account and here we are inside of Twitter. Now my account has already been established. I already follow people. I already have followers. Uh, so your account might look a little bit different. You're not going to have photos in the top left corner and that sort of thing. But I am going to show you how to add those photos. I'm going to show you how you can tweet, how you can interact with other people's tweets, how you can follow people, how to get your profile all set up. So we're going to go over everything. But we're going to start right off the bat. We're going to talk about tweeting because that's what Twitter is for. It's for you to get your message out to the world. Now, uh, some of you may be coming from other social media platforms such as Facebook and one thing that's quite different uh, on Twitter is that generally your usage of Twitter is going to be public. There are small close-knit groups of people that use Twitter privately but for the most part if you're using Twitter it's because you have messages that you want anybody to see not just your close-knit group of friends. So be aware of that when you're tweeting on Twitter it's for anybody to see. So to start tweeting all you need to do is either go up to the top right corner and click on the red tweet button this button should be available anywhere inside of twitter or we can just click inside of the text box that says what's happening now i do also want to mention that obviously you can use twitter on your mobile phones and the user interface might look a little bit different but in terms of the functionality of what we can do with twitter the options that we have it should be the same so uh, whether you're following along on your phone or computer uh, things should look similar they might be in slightly different locations but all the functionality is the same so you may have heard uh, you know, before watching this video that uh, Twitter has a character limit in your tweets. You can only type 140 characters per tweet. So you can see down here at the bottom this number 140. That's how many characters I have left to type. So I can just start tweeting. I can say, I'm currently recording a course on Twitter. Now, Twitter wouldn't be Twitter without the use of hashtags and at mentions. So uh, we can add hashtags to our tweets by first typing the number symbol and then whatever hashtag we want to use. Now, hashtags are basically, in a sense, topics. So if we take a look over here to the left side of my screen, I used to live in South Florida, so I'm still seeing trends from Miami. So these are hashtags that people are using who are talking about the Miami area or who are located in the Miami area. And so you can see tax day, it's tax day, it's April 18th. So that's one of the big topics on Twitter. So if I had a tweet related to taxes, I could put the hashtag tax day in my tweet, just like I did social media up here. Now at the same time, I could click on tax day and I'll actually do that, but I'm gonna open it in a new tab just so we have our, our current page remains as is. So when I click on tax day, it's now going to show me all the different tweets where people have used the hashtag tax day. So you can go through, you know, whatever hashtag you're looking at and you'll see all sorts of tweets related to it. So that's what hashtags are used for on Twitter. Now, some are serious like tax day, you know, might be serious. That could also be some jokes about tax day. Um, Atlas five. So NASA is launching a, a supply rocket. That's pretty serious. There aren't going to be many people joking about that topic. So that's like a newsworthy topic. But then you've got this hashtag down here being single means. Those are going to be funny. The, you know, that's people coming up with witty tweets about being single. So you can see that there's some differentiation in, you know, whether hashtags are used uh, to group certain events, news stories, or whether they're just used uh, for funny quotes and that sort of thing. So you can add whatever hashtags you want here on Twitter. Now, at the same time, we can at mention people, which basically notifies them that we're mentioning them in a particular tweet. So, uh, you know, I don't know uh, too many at mentions that are going to be great for this tweet, but I could at mention, say, Mark Zuckerberg. I'm sure he has a, does he have a Twitter? Does Mark Zuckerberg? There, he has a Twitter. Or it might not be the real Mark Zuckerberg, but I could, let's say this was the real Mark Zuckerberg, I could at mention him. So you'll notice that he would then be notified. And as I mouse over it, he's only got 1,400 followers. So I, I wonder if this is really him or not. Um, so we could click on his account and we could go look at it. Some people will be verified here in Twitter. You'll see like a little check mark next to the name, which means it's verified to be really them. That's often you'll see that for celebrities and sports and, you know, professional athletes, that sort of thing. So this one isn't verified, so it's probably not really him. But I just wanted to demonstrate how we can at mention people in our tweets. I am going to delete that at mention, though. 
Notice down here at the bottom we could also add photos or videos to our tweet. We could add GIFs, GIFs, if that's your thing. You can conduct polls here in Twitter. You could add the location to your tweet. Now at the same time we can also add links and to do that we just copy and paste a link. So I could go copy my website link, go into my tweet here and paste it in. And when I tweet this, let's go ahead and tweet it. Whatever, we'll do a live tweet during a video. You'll notice that a preview of uh, the link that you tweeted came up and it might still be gathering that image. Maybe if I refresh that image will show up. Yep, and that tweet has already been lost because people are tweeting so fast. So I can now click on my profile and I'll be able to see my tweet. So for whatever reason that image hasn't come in yet. But for the most part you'll notice here's a tweet that I did regarding a YouTube video and we have the image preview down here. You can see some other tweets that I've done. I've used some hashtags. Um, here's another link for my website. The image came in properly. It, it takes the image, it takes the title of the article, it takes the description, and then it shows you the primary domain that the page is located on. So that's how you can tweet in Twitter. Now let's talk about interacting with other people's tweets. So what I'm going to do for now is I'm just going to go up here and I'm going to click on home. And this brings me to my home feed. This is where we were before. And from my home feed, I can see all the tweets uh, from people that I follow on Twitter. So uh, let's go ahead and let's, let's take a look at this IGN post and see the different options that we have when interacting with a tweet here on Twitter. First of all, I want to mention that, uh, and here's that blue check mark, just as I mentioned earlier, that's the verification symbol on Twitter. But uh, notice that when I hover over a name on Twitter, I get this little preview box. From here, I could follow this user by clicking on this button over here to the right. Now I'm already following IGN, so if I were to click this I would unfollow them. But just from this box we can see how many tweets they've tweeted, how many followers they have, or how many people they follow, and then how many followers they have. And again we can follow them from here. So that is a, a, something that might be a little bit difficult for people to find right off the bat here on Twitter, how to follow people uh, when viewing their tweets. So you have to mouse over the name and then click on the follow button. Now at the bottom of the tweet we have some options. We could reply to the tweet. So if I were to click on this, you'll notice that it opens up a new tweet and it's automatically going to at mention IGN and Robert Leefield in my tweet. I do not have to mention them because I clicked on reply and they were the original posters of the original tweet. Uh, so just be aware of that and they'll be notified of that reply. Obviously, you know, big names, celebrities and, and professional athletes aren't going to be able to read every reply they get. So just because they're being notified and you're replying to them doesn't necessarily mean they're going to read it, but there's a chance that they will. I could also retweet this tweet, which basically means repost it on my Twitter account for my followers to see. Now when I click retweet, I also have the option of adding my own comment. So it's kind of like sharing something on Facebook. You can share somebody else's post. Same idea. So that's what retweeting is. We could like the tweet. Uh, if we like the tweet, you can see it shows the number of likes it has, and then it will also save it uh, in a different place in our Twitter account so we could easily access it later on if we wanted to save this tweet because uh, it has some useful information in it or a useful link that we'd like to review later on. We can hit the heart button to like it. Additionally, at the top right of each tweet we also have a drop down box where we have a few different options. We could block this Twitter account, we could report it, um, we can mute them, we can embed the tweet so if we wanted to put this tweet on a website, something like that, or I could send it to somebody via direct message here on Twitter. Even though everything you tweet is public, you can send messages to people on Twitter uh, and those are private. So, you know, I could share this tweet to somebody else via direct message so that I'm not publicly sharing it with them. Okay, so now let's talk a little bit about how we can configure our own profile here on Twitter. So we have images and uh, a description. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to click on my Twitter handle over here on the left side and it's going to take me to my Twitter page. So you can see I've got this photo up here at the uh, top, that's the canvas photo, then I've got my profile picture, and then down here I have a description of what I tweet about and who I am, where I live, which that needs to be updated, my website, and then it shows my join date. To edit any of this information, you probably don't have anything up here, you might have the default Twitter image here, the default Twitter image here. Uh, to edit this information, we just click on the edit profile button over here to the right. You'll notice that I can click here at the top to change my header photo. So I could upload a photo. The recommended photo size for Twitter, this is important, you might want to write it down, is 1500 pixels by 500 pixels. And remember that when you're viewing your full profile, the very bottom left of the canvas photo is overlapped. So don't put anything important right here because that's going to be overlapped by your profile photo. 
Okay, and then you can click on your profile photo to change that. That's a square photo. The recommended resolution is 500 pixels by 500 pixels for that photo. So you can upload whatever photo you'd like for that. And down here below, we can change our description that people are going to see on our Twitter page. We can change our location. I can change mine. I'm going to be moving again soon, but for right now, I'm in Madison. Oh, come on. Madison, Wisconsin. They don't have it in here. Okay, well, I'll just type it in manually. And then I have my website. That is still my website. And so I could add my birthday if I wanted to. I could change my theme color. So that's kind of your color around this box here. Uh, and then when I'm ready, I can just click Save Changes. So you can see, you know, I've got, uh, obviously my stuff was already in here, but if you added a photo, your Twitter account should be looking quite a bit more uh, professional and, and fully fledged now. So just starting out using Twitter, you know, we've gone through the basics, how to tweet, how to interact with tweets, how to get your profile page set up. Uh, I want to mention a few of the things up here at the top. Twitter has a new feature called Moments, uh, where basically uh, people can group tweets of a particular topic into what's called a moment. So usually they're like news stories. So a 3,000 year old mummy was discovered in Egypt. If I click on this moment, it's going to have multiple tweets related to that moment. Now, I personally don't like this feature because that's, to me, that's what hashtags are for. Uh, but it's a new feature. You can check it out and use it if you'd like. I do want to mention, however, notifications. Notifications uh, are where you'll be notified when somebody else likes one of your tweets. You can see somebody already liked my tweet that I did in this video. That's awesome. <laughs> you can see when people retweet you, when people mention you in tweets. Uh, so this is kind of your feed of when people are specifically interacting with your Twitter account, not just tweet, you know, you, you're going to see all of their tweets on your homepage, but not necessarily just the tweets that you've been mentioned in and notifications, you're only going to see ones that you've been mentioned in, uh, or when somebody likes a tweet, something like that. And then messages is where you can review direct messages here on Twitter. Uh, that would be a personal message that somebody sent you that is not public facing. Now, okay, so we've gone over the basics. What I recommend for you to get started on Twitter and just kind of get into it is, uh, one, you can take a look at these trending tweets and you can click on a few of them. So, you know, we could go back to this Atlas 5. That should be pretty PG. Uh, so we can see, you know, the different news stories. You can see, oh, hey, maybe there's some people if I'm into space travel and space exploration, maybe I want to follow these people. Sure, I actually am into that, so I'll follow them. Okay, so now I'll start seeing those tweets from these users on my homepage. Uh, so I'm still seeing other tweets related to this, this hashtag. We could scroll down and we can keep looking. Um, so you might see another hashtag, OA7. Oh, okay, maybe I want to see more information about that. Uh, so you can kind of just start going through Twitter and letting Twitter take you wherever it takes you, so to speak. Now, alternatively, you can also search. So there's the search box up here at the top. So you could search uh, for different topics on Twitter. So I'm a big Celtics fan. They're playing a playoff game tonight. I could search for Boston Celtics. Now I could click right on the Boston Celtics account if I wanted to. And you'll see this is their official account. Yeah, I was gonna say, am I following him? Yes, I am. But alternatively, I could have just searched Boston Celtics and you can see this hashtag pops up. So I could just view all of the tweets that other people are tweeting with the hashtag Boston Celtics. Now, at the same time, when you're searching for tweets here on Twitter, you can filter which tweets you're seeing. So you can see the, tw the top tweets, which is going to be the most popular tweets. You can see the latest tweets, tweets uh, about certain people, photos, videos. Now, one thing that I do like to use Twitter for is I like to use Twitter for breaking news. And by breaking news, I mean like within 10 minutes or within a very short time frame. Uh, one thing that I, for some reason, this has happened a couple times to me, I don't know why, but I've been in my local neighborhood and I've seen a, f a big fire or a lot of smoke off in the distance. I do some searching to see, hey, is there a forest fire going on or a controlled burn, something like this. And you know, the local news websites just don't update that fast. You have to wait for the nightly news. So there isn't really any info, but you can go on Twitter and you can search for, you know, fire and, in your area, you know, search for fire in Madison, Wisconsin, and things, you know, you often find things that you wouldn't find the regular news. I had that happen in, in Florida. Uh, it, it turned, it was a really smoky and it turned out that a forest fire from Georgia, the smoke had blown down into Florida. I didn't find it on a news website. I didn't find it by searching Google. I found out by searching Twitter. So uh, that is one of my top recommended ways that you can make use of Twitter uh, to try to find breaking news. Uh, I hope you found this video helpful. If you did, I would really appreciate a thumbs up here on YouTube. And if you want to see more technology tips and tutorials, don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel. That's all I have for you for now. Happy tweeting. This is Anson from AnsonAlex.com.